Have you ever heard of Thomas the Tank Engine? If you've been around little kids between the ages of 2 and around 7 or so, I'm sure you have. My son adored Thomas so much, so that he could name every single train, knew what color they were, and what number they had painted on them. I was glad when I heard that he was coming to visit me over the summer, but I had a ton of work to do, so I bought him a Thomas DVD. The cover looked innocent enough, but what was also interesting was that Thomas was smiling, and little when children were waving their arms out of the windows in his coaches. The DVD was called Thomas and the Children. He was so excited to see the DVD that right off the bat, he pleaded with me to pop it into the DVD player. I went to work while he watched it. Under a few hours, he came into my office looking as pale as a sheet. Daddy? His voice seemed weak. Are you okay? I said. I touched his head and noticed that his temperature had gone up. Why did Thomas kill the children? My heart sank like a stone, but I soon brushed it off. I'm sure Thomas didn't kill the children, I reassured him. Now you need to rest in some mess and I gently pushed him toward his room. Come on now. After putting him in the bed, I got curious to what he had seen. So I popped in the DVD player and began to watch the episode play. It seemed normal enough. Thomas was told to take a group of children to the seaside by the instructions of Sir Topham Hat. I know something was odd though. There was no narrator in this episode. I then showed Thomas picking up the little one children and showed him every single one of them climb on board. Then there was a scene with him zooming down the rails like he always did, and the kids were cheering. Then there was trouble, as they say in the show. Bray the bus was stuck on the railway track. This is when the episode got strange. Bray stared at Thomas in fear, but Thomas just smiled and sped up. He laughed, and the kids were crying with tears coming down from their wooden faces. Thomas crashed into Bertie, causing pieces of them to go flying everywhere. Usually by now the narrator would say, and luckily no one was hurt. But there was no reassurance from the kids. The episode then showed what happened inside the coaches. The wooden limbs were broken off. It looked like actual blood had been splattered everywhere. Heads ripped off of the bodies. The wooden dolls. What was worse? The children still had tears painted upon their faces. It cut the stack. After that, I felt myself boiling over with anger. What sicko would create something that messed up for little kids? And then paused the static. This is starting to appear on the screen, like kill, obey, multiply, and die. I watched the static, at, at least three different messages flashed on the screen. I threw the accursed thing in the trash after breaking in half. I would not expose my child to any more of that trash. Before going to bed myself, I checked my son's room. He was happily asleep and snoring, clutching his teddy. I had nightmares from this. One where the children came into my room, but they were all lifelike and as tall as a normal person. Their twisted forms grabbed my limbs and pulled me apart while I heard that blasted train laughing. Now I have woken up, covered in blood, knife in hand. I'm too afraid to go check my son's room.